Coming up on this week's edition of Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica, take a look back at the Saints' homecoming matchup. Get a football lesson with head coach Kurt Ramler. Get to know a pair of Saints players who have quite the bond. And get a preview of the second half of the season. That's next on Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica Football, a five-week seasonal series bringing you inside the Saints football program. I'm your host, Angie Vestris, coming to you overlooking Lake Superior. Fall has hit Duluth, and while it brings beautiful scenery here, it also means important October football games. One of those important games was Saturday for homecoming when the Saints faced Martin Luther. Former St. John standout Todd Fultz joins head coach Kurt Rambler to break down the game. Coach Rambler, another fantastic day up here in Duluth. Beautiful weather, homecoming here, hosting Martin Luther, and a big 53-15 to 15 win today. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a win. We'll always take a win, but when we play that well in the first half, it feels extra special. Uh, we were crisp. Guys played great. They responded to a big moment, our homecoming game. I play in uh, maybe the best game of the year. In front of a huge crowd, we're here at, at Miloski Stadium. The place was packed. A lot of events, a lot of action going on all week leading up to this day, and what a great atmosphere. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I know before the game, I saw T. Harp, actually, superstar from last year, uh, leading the alums, getting ready for the game. He was in the stands, going crazy, some great chants going. It, it was a blast. Offensively tonight, you got started fast and furious. One after another touchdown, they just kept coming as you racked up the points, and Hunter Thompson from Buffalo had a great game. He, he really did. Um, he had a, a couple good moments last week against Crown, but today he really broke out. I think he got the game going, um, and momentum-wise, with a post-corner uh, catch where he really just took it away from the defender. Had another one later on, and also uh, had a nice reverse for a touchdown as well. Preston Robinson, we keep talking about him, the Northfield product. Bubba, Bubba Sullivan, a great coach down there, uh, prepared him well for college, and he has done nothing but great things for you here at St. Scholastica. You know, Preston's really come into his own right now, I think, as a football player. He, uh, he's electric with the ball in his hands, but he made some great blocks today as well. Um, he's really become a, a, a top-to-bottom uh, football player. Offensive line had a few holes to fill with some loss of some All-Americans, and they're starting to come around and gel right now. Yeah, the moving balls. Um, Coach Hill does a great job with those guys. They work hard. Um, they really move their feet today. Um, and, and when you score that many points, you gotta, you got to give the old line a lot of love. Defensively, what were the keys today? Well, our defense is just, Coach Penry does a great job with that group. We've got great senior leadership over there. Um, they just, they continue to play really well each and every week, flying around. Our defense is really what gets us going. Um, Alex Mangan, senior leadership, i got to give him a lot of credit. He's been, uh, he's been on him all year in a great way, uh, with a positive example, but also with vocal encouragement when needed. And I know this week was a big week with it being homecoming and the big crowd here today. You talked to me earlier about how Alex kept the team nice and calm during the week, staying focused for the game. Alex knows how to prepare. He's about as intelligent a football player as you'll ever meet. Uh, calm, cool, collected, and poised. It's, uh, you follow his example and good things happen. I'm having a hard time picking the big moment of the game because there were so many. But for you as a coach, was there a moment in the game where you kind of felt it turn your way? Yeah, I really think it was Hunter's catch down there where, uh, you know, we were, we were kind of on it, but not quite. And then uh, he made a huge catch and got us, we got rolling. Big Daddy Mo on our side. And we got Big Daddy Mo on our side. We're pretty good. Four wins in a row now. You lose the first game to Ripon in a close one, 17-16. Tough one to prepare for when they run the Veer. But the boys took something from that and have now put together four victories. What's the team mindset right now as you're five games into your season? I really think our team mindset is we got to be 1-0 each week. You know, this one's nice, but it's one win. Uh, we're looking forward to next week. Got to go 1-0 again. Well, thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Big homecoming win here in Duluth. A beautiful day. Saints win, 53-15. Iowa Wesleyan next week. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Coming up, get to know a pair of Saints players who have quite the bond. Get a preview of the second half of the season. And get a football lesson with head coach Kurt Ramler. That's next on Inside the Huddle with Saints Scholastica. Inside the Huddle is brought to you by the College of Saints Scholastica. Named the Forbes Magazine's 2015 Top Colleges list based on student satisfaction, pro's graduate, and academic success. 
The world needs more saints. The type of education you get here is second to none. They, they place a lot of emphasis on education and academics, and that's real important. So here, you get the best of both worlds. You get a winning tradition in athletics, and then in the classroom, you get the best academic possible. The way they bring you in, and the way like, they want you to learn and be, become a person as you come here and grow as one. Uh, Saints class really knows how to treat you with the small class sizes, and you can really go to the teachers and whatever you need and they'll help you out like that. It's, it's amazing. Uh, and being here at St. Scholastica, I mean, the teachers are super helpful and they want to help you. They want to see you learn. They want to see you succeed. So being able to focus on academics here is a lot easier because you have all these supporting characters. CSS is a great place. Classrooms are really small. After class, I can stop. I can talk to my professor. Hey, I got this question for you. And they'll sit down and they'll help you answer it. If they got another place to be, they'll set up office hours for you. It's awesome. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica. Coming to you from beautiful Duluth, I'm your host, Angie Avestris. With 20 years of collegiate experience as both a player and coach, Saints head coach Kurt Ramler has an impressive resume of football knowledge. To learn a little bit from his coaching years, he went onto the field to give us some pointers in the game of football. I'm Kurt Ramler, the head football coach here at the College of St. Scholastica. And I'm Preston Robinson, running back from Northfield, Minnesota. We're going to talk about ball security. One of the big things we worry about at St. Scholastica is making sure we take care of this guy. Uh, the whole team values it. Preston carries it a lot. He's going to show us how we get the ball and carry it high and dry. Go ahead and show him, Preston. He's going to get a point of contact tight to his pec as well as cover the tip and get his uh, bicep and forearm as well. From there, he keeps his eyes downfield. He's able to use his vision and see the ball. One of the ways that we'll drill this is we'll partner up. He'll keep his eyes downfield, the partner from behind. He'll get his feet pumping, his feet pumping, eyes downfield, then a rip or punch from behind, and he keeps that ball high and dry. Um, one of the key points as well is that we don't switch during a play. If it starts on the right, we keep it there. Um, the other thing that's really important, if I can borrow that ball, Mr. Robinson, um, is catch to tuck, catch to tuck. Um, so Mr. Robinson will demonstrate how he'd catch and quickly get that ball into a tuck position. It doesn't go from here to here and up. Catch, tuck. Catch, tuck. And then we want to cover it as well after we get it. Catch, tuck, security. That's what we're trying to do as we do uh, ball security. Any fumbles today? None. There we go. That's, uh, that's ball security at St. Scholastic. All right, I'm going to throw the ball to you. Extend out, pull in fast. Quick, tuck it in there, get it under the bicep right there. You ready? There you go. Quick, in there fast. You gotta get it in there fast. There you go. Quick, there you go. Good job. Ready? Oh, here you go. You want another try? Yeah, you go. Good job. Ooh. Yeah, way to look at it. Way to look it in. There you go, good job. You can go either hand too, just make sure it's high and dry. There you go, good job. Good job, good catch. Oh, good catch, there you go. You got you ready, tuck? Catch, pull in, tuck, right there. There you go, good rap. Oh, uh, just have fun and do the right thing all the time. I think if you have fun and do the right thing, everything else will fall into place. Sure. High five, stay where you are. High five. High five. High five. Coming up, take a look back at the Saints homecoming matchup. Get to know a pair of Saints players who have quite the bond. And get a preview of the second half of the season. That's next on Inside the Huddle with Saints Scholastica. Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Benedictine Health System, by BSN Sports, by Hale Pros, the roofing specialist.
Benedictine moment focuses on community, one of the core values of the College of St. Scholastica. Community is that family feeling you get when you're being together, sharing common interests, values, and goals. St. Benedict himself said that community is based on deep love and mutual respect. Saints football is a true community. We're a family. We look out for one another. We challenge one another. We help each other to become our very best day in and day out. Community shows up when guys take extra reps at practice or work together at study table. Whether it's helping out in the locker room, doing team laundry, or just giving a listening ear. Community is about being there for one another with true respect, love, and understanding and supporting one another all the way through. That Saints football and another great Benedictine moment. It's always good to hear from Sister Lisa each week here on the show to get her knowledge and wisdom on the Saints football program. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle with Saints Scholastica. I'm your host, Angie Avestris. Putting on the Saints uniform each Saturday is special for each and every player, but it has extra meaning for two players. Junior Jason Sanger has a new teammate this year, someone he knows well, his younger brother. Jason Singer, I'm a junior here at the College of St. Scholastica, and I'm, the, I'm a quarterback and punter. Uh, I'm Jonathan Singer. I play linebacker here at St. Scholastica, and I'm a freshman. Um, I, I played uh, at Buffalo High School. It's west of the Twin Cities, and what brought me here was uh, I came here on a couple of visits, and the coaches here, like Rambler and uh, Coach Bremer, my recruit, recruiting coach, they were awesome, and when I came up here, I loved the campus, and I loved Duluth as a city. There's so much to do here. It's a lot of fun. My brother, Jonathan Singer, it's, uh, it's a really privilege to play with him. I mean, I did play with him back in high school, back in Buffalo, and, uh, but, you know, it's, 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 it's rare that, you know, brothers play on the same football team, and I know, like, playing with him, it's gonna be a lot of fun because, you know, He's my brother and you know we've always had our good good times and our bad times but in the end we're family and he's like the closest thing to me and he is my best friend. So it's just fun to be out there on the field with him and see how great that the great things that he can do for this team. Um, my brother was here first but I like to think that I was recruited first. He transferred here from Gus Davis and, and I was still looking about coming here and stuff and after he transferred I could see it in him. He he was happier and you know more fun to be with. And he's just and I was just like, wow, this college really really did something to him. And I feel like it, Scholastica could be a great place for me too. My freshman year, I went to Gus Davis Adolphus down in St. Peter, and you know Gus Davis is a great college, but it just didn't wasn't like the place for me. I didn't feel like you know, like a second home to me. I mean, the people were down there were great and stuff, but. I don't know, so there's something about me just, you know, wasn't clicking right. And then uh, the summer after my freshman year, I got in contact with Coach Bremer and we started talking. I went up on a visit and like the city of Duluth and this college specifically, the College of St. Celeste, just really caught my attention. And being here just made it be like a second home to me, you know. I feel like, you know, a part of something. I think it's pretty special to play football with my brother Jason. You know, we did play football in high school together, but you know, we're older now, we're more mature, and I feel like it's, it could be super fun to play with them and a great honor. Here at College of St. Scholastica, you know, um, just the offense, the scheme itself, just like seemed to fit me better, like the zone reads, the um, just the passing scheme and stuff. You know, um, Coach Rambler always tells the quarterbacks just to throw it to the open guy, which, you know, you know, makes me like, kind of like puts a little bit less pressure off me, but yet more because at Just Davis Adolphus, you know, you had to read this, that, and everything. You had to throw to this guy and this coverage and stuff. But Rambler, Coach Rambler, just like, just throw it to the open guy. If you find him, just get him the ball and let him do his thing. So, you know, just that aspect right there and the players all around just, you know, made it seem like more place for, the right place for me to play. Here at Scholastica, I, I love the people, the players, the coaches, everybody, and the way we run practice. We go super hard, but yet at the end, end of the day, we're all family here, and it's awesome. And it was kind of like that at Buffalo, 
you know, we went hard and stuff, but here it's just a lot more fun and a lot better and I love it. Coach Rambler is a great guy and he's funny and a little weird sometimes, but you just gotta laugh and playing for him I think is gonna be great and it should be a great time, it should be super fun. Uh, the, the academics here at St. Stolastra at the St. Scholastica is very huge. Um, Coach Randler always says that you're a student athlete, so being a student here is very important, and getting that college degree is um, something that I'm striving for and want to get. So then after playing football here, I can move on to pursue a career that I love to do. Right now, I'm undecided. I don't know, hopefully I pick up something while I'm here, while I'm doing my generals, and. I don't know, maybe be a psych teacher or something like that. Um, I'm majoring in nursing, so I plan to do that for a couple of years after college, and then after that, head back to school to be a physician assistant. The nursing program at St. Scholastica has, um, leads you, like, helps you go right into the field. Um, you have your clinicals and stuff like that, so you know what to do on your job and get you prepared and everything. And the, and the professors are always helpful. I mean, you can always go up to them and ask them and they're always there for you. And the small class sizes help. So it, if you have a question, they're one-on-one -on -one and they just try to help you get, get you through the program and at a, but at a higher standard than other colleges out there. They try to make you better. Coming up, get a preview of the second half of the season. That's next on Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica. Inside the Huddle is brought to you by the College of St. Scholastica. Named the Forbes Magazine's 2015 Top Colleges list based on student satisfaction, postgraduate, and academic success. The world needs more Saints. Coach Ramler, he's a crazy guy, unique, uh, joking, but you know when he gets down to business, you got to get down to business too. Uh, he expects a lot out of us and he wants us to be men and that's what he's looking forward to. Football player second, but hell starts with being men first. Coach Ramler, he's a good guy to be around. He's fun, he's uh, energetic, he's, 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 he jokes around with you, but when it's time to be serious, he's serious and he's a guy that you really want to play for. He, you really don't want to let him down, but he's there for you all the time. If you need to be picked up, he'll pick you up. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica. I'm your host, Angie Avestris. As Coach Ramler said earlier, each and every game takes on more and more significance as the season hits the second half point. One of those games is this weekend with another home contest here in St. Scholastica against Iowa Wesleyan. It's a big matchup, and to look at what lies ahead, Todd Fultz joins Coach Ramler to preview the Saints' upcoming week. All right, Coach Ramler, big win here in Duluth. A beautiful day, 53 to 15 over Martin Luther. Keys to the game today. Well, we played, we played really well. The guys came out in front of an uh, electric homecoming crowd. It was uh, fat, fantastic to have the crowd going crazy. It was pretty loud, a lot of fun. And uh, I know some of the guys wanted to really put their mark on the year. And as seniors, last homecoming, they did that. Homecoming, obviously, a lot of action going on here. The guys seemed focused. They came out and took care of business right away. I'd like to believe we're figuring out how we need to play. Um, you know, we don't care who we're playing. We got to play our game each and every game. We, we feel really confident that if we play really well, oh, we're going to have a good chance to win. Midpoint of the season, you've got four wins in a row. You got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, we're starting to groove. We're starting to groove on offense, on defense, on specials. The team's really come together. We've got some great leadership. Guys are doing great. Offensively, another balanced attack. Can we expect the same in the weeks to come? Uh, you know, I think we're capable of uh, going either way. We can be great in the air. We can be great on the ground. Hunter Thompson had a really breakout game today, another uh, couple touchdowns, and was really dominant when he was out there. Preston Robinson continues to just thrive. He's explosive. Did a great job, and the O-line did a wonderful job as well. Defensively, he shut out Crown last week, 15 points this week. Is the defense the calling card of this 2015 season? Yeah, I think so. 
uh, I think we knew coming in. We had some, some great players, some really good veterans there. Um, you know, and they're held to a high standard. They held, held themselves to a really high standard. They want to be great. Uh, really proud of them on defense. I think we can hang our hat on, on them playing with great effort. Well, a special win again, homecoming, but also it continues a great streak of 25 consecutive UMAC victories, and that's pretty special. Yeah, it really is. It really is. No, you know, we, we worry about one game at a time, but if you go one, one, uh, one game at a time enough times in a row, you're at 25, and that's quite an accomplishment. Iowa Wesleyan next week, what can we expect? Well, they run an odd stack defense. They've got a lot of speed on offense, and, you know, we're, we're at a point in our season where we're worried about ourselves. We got to play our game, play really well, keep improving like we have each game thus far this year. If we do that, we'll be in good shape. Coach, another great game, great win, a beautiful day up here in Duluth. Good luck next week against Iowa Wesleyan. Back to you, Angie. That will do it for this week's edition of Inside the Huddle with St. Scholastica, your weekly look inside the Saints football program. To follow the football program and all Saint sports, visit CSSSaints.com. For Todd Foltz and Coach Rambler, I'm Angie Avestris. Thanks for joining us on Inside the Huddle with Saints Scholastica.